This is the glorious world that greeted the East Sussex meerkat family. The creatures that live here are made for this place and no other. From the very beginning, William, otherwise known as Halftail, and his family knew that they belonged in this place, and this place belonged to them. As the William family grew older, it became clear to them that it is a long journey from our childhood, but it's just the beginning. This is the day that the Sussex cats have been waiting for. These Sussex meerkats are excited and filled with eager anticipation. Well, most of them. Today seems to be the first day that it hasn't rained in Sussex. The sun is out and so are the cats' eagerness to get searching for some food. William gives the signal that it's time for breakfast and as always, Pebbles is the first to get digging. Meerkats look for food throughout the day. Most of the meerkats' food is found underground and their specially adapted bodies are perfect for this. Feeding time can get quite aggressive. Looks like someone won't be sharing today. Foraging for a meerkat means digging here and there and occasionally finding a tasty morsel on the surface. This is truly paradise. The William family think that this is their patch, but in truth, it's shared with many others. Some are vegetarians, others like to get down and dirty. There's a feast down there. It's an acquired taste like mouth-watering grubs or crunchy millipedes. Not one thing is not eaten in the wild. And in a matter of seconds, the hunter can become the hunted. On lookout, Richie is one of the family members that imagines he is a match for any of the killers on the enclosure. They enjoy being mischievous and make sure they're nice and clean, making themselves look pretty. It helps the family bond with each other. They all have to be careful. There can be unwanted visitors in a matter of seconds. William spots something, a group of hungry vultures. He warns the rest of his friends. They all run and hide. That was a close call. Back at the burrow, all is peaceful, but that peace is about to be shattered. zookeeper here at Drusilla's Park um, and yes, yeah, so I'm a zookeeper, I look after all the animals. So the meerkats, they come from the Kalahari Desert in Africa um, and the conditions in the wild would be um, pretty similar to the enclosure, they'd be kind of a, a sandy flat surfaces and lots of logs and trees in there as well um, but ma mainly like desert enclosures with lots of rockery and things like that so yeah we kind of replicate that in captivity. This group isn't actually a breeding group, we've got um, a, a group of siblings um, so they don't do the general um, breeding behaviours as the woody as a breeding group. They do do a lot of things that are similar to the meerkats that are in the wild. For example, they will go up onto sentry duty and take guard and look for predators. Um, they will kind of watch each other, so if we're in the enclosure, they will make sure that all the, all the other individuals are all okay. They do fight over food quite a lot. The pecking order of the group that is quite frequently changing because there isn't a dominant male and female, so they, they do act very similar to the um, ones in the wild. These guys do still face some dangers. Um, for example, we've got birds that are flying around, we've got lots of buzzards and things like that, and kites. And these guys will see them and pick them up and they'll, they'll watch them and they'll act just as they would do in the wild. So in the wild, obviously, they've got all these dangers that they have that they would then act on and there'd be one that calls out and they all make the, the noises and they'll go and hide away and they do exactly the same here. In the wild obviously they're going to be more active than they are in captivity and that's purely because 
um, in captivity, they know they're going to get fed, so they don't need to keep going around the enclosure trying to look for it in a sense. When it comes to feeding, I tend to come into the enclosure and scatter it all around to get them all kind of moving around and trying to find the food. Um, but I can also put in um, quite big, large pieces of meat, so they all have to join in together as a group and then pull bits off just like they would do in the wild. In the wild they have to look for food and they have to make sure they have enough food and it could be that the next bit of food they find will be the last bit they find for the rest of the day. In captivity and um, they don't have the um, dangers as in uh, the snakes that they have out there as well and um, so these guys are known to kind of attack snakes and they can kill them as well so they're quite good with that. Pretty much what you see on Meerkat Manor is, is similar. Um, obviously there's more of a family way of describing the, the family. Um, but these guys generally, they'll look out for one another. They will try and provide everyone with a little bit of food if it's not a lot of food. Um, they will squabble, just like Meerkat Manor, they do that as well. Um, and if they did have young in the enclosure, they'd all take care of the young and, and help show it how to kind of catch its own food and things like that. So they do act very similar. Um, and they will, you know, they will kind of gel as a team and they do work together.